Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Did you know that you can use your iPad as an additional screen for your Mac? You can use this iPad as the main screen or a mirroring screen or a connecting screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this feature. Before we get started, let me show you all the supported devices. On the right, you will find the list of supported iPads. On the left, you will find all the Mac devices that are supported that runs macOS Yosemite 10.10 or later. So that is for the system requirements. Let me show you how to do the mirroring. Make sure that your Mac and the iPad are connected to the same Apple ID and same Wi-Fi network. To do the mirroring, go to the control center on your Mac and select screen mirroring. Here it shows the list of iPads that are connected to the same Apple ID. Just select the iPad that you want to mirror and you get two options. One is to mirror the current screen. In my case, I have a Dell monitor connected to my Mac mini, or you can use the iPad as a separate display. As you can see, my iPad is now connected. And down here, you have additional options to show sidebar and touch bar. Sidebar will give you some shortcuts on your iPad to navigate as you use the iPad as the second display. By using this shortcut, you can view or hide the dock on your Mac and the iPad. Here you get some frequently used shortcuts such as command options, shift, and if you come further down, you get an undo button and keyboard shortcut and a shortcut for disconnecting your iPad. And if you go back to control center and screen mirroring and here you have an option for display settings. I can find some additional settings for display here. If I select iPad down here, I can select how to use the iPad like as the main display or extended display, or it can be used as a mirror to my main display. And for the sidebar, I can just hide it by selecting never, or I can just leave it on the left, or if I prefer, I can even put it to the right. And you can enable double tap on Apple Pencil. This works for some supported apps. Here, you also have some advanced options. You can just check it out. If anything's to be changed, you can just do that and click done. And you can use this option arrange to position your secondary display so you can move the cursor in that direction to access the iPad display. I have put the iPad display at the top so when I move the mouse cursor upwards it will go to the iPad. So these are the simple steps how to use your iPad as a secondary display or how you can mirror your Mac screen on your iPad. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. If you like the video, give the thumbs up. If you have a question, please drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. I will catch you in the next video.